Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? Click the blue button. We were working vintage junky today. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. I just got here. I'm searching for prices for people online that wanted stuff. This is Naomi's. I know this is Naomi. Look at this barn picture. That's Naomi's. She has such good style. I'm serious, like great style. So does Katie. Like I can almost pick out their stuff. I'm looking, I'm like, Katie, is it gotta be Katie? I gotta take some of my stuff out. Um, I'm looking around going, I nah, have to check the basement and see what they took out this week before I leave. It just stinks down there. I don't want my stuff's down there too long. It's so cute. Everybody's been busy. Look at this. Look at it. Oh, so good. It's like coffee table height, but look at the detail. Love that. Love that. Love this. Look at all these. Oh, I got to get back to doing furniture, you guys just makes me happy to see all this stuff of course they've got some sold stuff already people will be coming for that i'm gonna buy a shirt for work this was only ten dollars and check this out oh so good love that i wonder how they attached it all or if it's attached i don't know that's a naomi original look at that they're so cute Everybody loves these with the rust and the copper patina. That's one of mine. Oh no, these came back and my, oh, a lot of my stuff is out. So I've got this, these, this, 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 this is all mine. <sighs> That's a lot. And I don't have fluffy, so it's going to take a lot of trips. Um, I'll have to have my husband come. We're going to take all this to pick it. Sad. Is any of this mine? Um, I don't think so. It's the four o'clock lull. Vintage junkie. I moved out a ton of furniture today. None of it was mine. I checked my sales report, $171 for the month. I've sold four things. Not good. So that's disappointing. And then I got my Google payment for the month. And unfortunately it's $20 less than it normally is because that whole week that my site was down. So that means this last week that my site was down, my next check will be $20 short too. And then, um, yeah. I don't have to move any more furniture out because my shoulder's starting to hurt. But this is crazy. <laughs> Love the old four o'clock low. Love it. Been busy all day right up until now. I did have someone drop off this doll, this, and this doll. She's in her bridal gown. She doesn't want them, so I'm taking them to Junk Bonanza. The Chrissy doll is going online for like $150 to $300, depending on condition. So I'm like, Wow. Thanks for just dropping that. I just brought it and left here. Maybe somebody can use it. I'm like, okay. Okay, so I'm home from Vintage Junkie. The pillow's done. It's dry. The only pet peeve I have is that it left like a ring of discoloration on the other fabric. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Because it's just very noticeable. <laughs> Lane. Anyway, so it was a good day at Vintage Junkie. We had a great day of sales, actually. Just none of my stuff. <laughs> you know, it's just not mine. Not my sales, so. 
that is endlessly frustrating. And then I get home to find out that my husband has injured his back. So he's laying down. He's sleeping in. So he's trying to get up and move right now, which I highly don't recommend if you've hurt your back, right? I tell him he needs to rest it and ice it and, you know, take some pain medicine. Okay. I'm going to do this today. Do you remember this floor to Lee? Had it in my shop forever and ever and ever. It was like a faux copper thing going on and uh, nobody bought it. Nobody liked it. So now I've painted it white and I didn't know what to do. And then I thought I'm gonna cabinet glaze it and make it look old. So I'm going to do that right now. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that right now. So it has this weird texture stuff all the way around it that makes it look like it's on fabric or something. You see the ripples that are in it. And then it's got these details all in it and around it and this raised bit right here. So I think, I think the glaze will look good on it. get the glaze and we'll find out. Evidently we're not because I can't find the glaze. Hmm. There's just gonna be that. Okay. You know what? I don't need to do a project today. I think it's gonna be better if I wake up fresh tomorrow and do it. I did find a bag full of uh, supplies that I knew I had somewhere. And I had, I was cleaning out my garage. I was moving some stuff around, getting some stuff for the shop. And I uh, found a bag with some paper clay in it. And then I knew I bought paper clay, but it didn't, I didn't think it was this paper clay that I bought because the other contents were in it didn't look like the paper clay. It didn't look like the stuff that I bought with the paper clay. This was the stuff that I bought with the paper clay that I just found. So that means I had an entire package, brand new package of paper clay in my garage and it had been more than a year. <laughs> Oops. I don't know what to tell you. I'm, to be honest, I don't really care that I forgot about it. I'm at that point where there's so much happening at one time that I don't care about the things that I forget. I feel like I should care. I don't care. <laughs> I don't know what that means. And you just sort of stop giving a crap. It's like, you forgot this, you forgot that. I don't care anymore. I don't. I do care, you know, that <laughs> if it had gone bad, but it didn't go bad. So it was perfectly fine after a year. I know, because I just used it. This was on clearance, French linen chalked paint or chalk paint from home decor folk art and then this is hard code hard coat mod podge i'd never heard of it i'd never heard of it use on wood paper mache glass terracotta non-toxic quick build hard finish for furniture i do furniture it's for furniture I would never have thought to put Mod Podge on furniture. But now I have it, we gotta try it. So tomorrow when I'm feeling fresher, I will find the cabinet glaze. But right now I'm so tired. It was a long day at Vintage Junkie. Had a lot of fun customers come in though. 
That's the best part to me. Margo! Is getting to meet the customers and talk to the customers. And then there were some funny moments and some not so funny moments. Like there was a chicken rooster on top of a shelf. Of course this woman wanted it. Of course she wasn't going to help me get it down. So some other lady was going to help me get it down. I felt so bad because I swear I almost dropped that damn thing on her head. It was this giant heavy. I took a picture. I'm going to post it right here. Heavy wood, solid wood, chicken roost, brooding box or roosted, like, where they have, it's an egg thing, where they lay eggs. I don't know, nester. There you go. That It'll come to me. About a half a second late, but it'll come to me. Um, and another lady decided she would help me get it down. Y'all, when it came off the top of that shelf, ho, oh, almost lost it. And I thought for sure I was going to brain this woman because she's standing right underneath it trying to help me. <sighs> I wish I could have given her a discount. <laughs> she didn't buy any of my stuff, though. Otherwise, I would have gotten it. I only gave you like 20% off for that kind of woman. And the other, the lady that actually bought it, she was one of those customers that I'd be okay if she didn't come back. She was rude. She barely acknowledged the fact that I existed. I was trying to, you know, have a conversation. She's, <laughs> she wrote a check. I don't even know if they take checks. <laughs> I don't. I don't have any idea if they take checks. And I was looking around to see if there was a sign that said no checks. So I let her write the check because I'm like, what do I do? She was like, not having it. She was in such like a state. And then she goes, we're going to leave this stuff here. Or we're going down to your neighbors. Okay, I guess I, mean, I didn't need to get it down right now, did I? Well, you need to pay for it first. And then I had a customer come in with her granddaughter and she was buying her granddaughter a table and chair set and it was not cheap. It was not a cheap table and chair set. She's a very nice lady. And the granddaughter couldn't have been ruder. Rude. And then she like sniped at her grandma that she didn't have gas money to drive her around. So they left her at the shop she gave her granddaughter her credit card so she could fill her tank. And they didn't come back for her. Another grandchild came and picked up the little old lady. It took everything I had not to verbally bitch slap that youngin. Your grandmother just bought you nice furniture for your first apartment. And I mean, it was a nice set of furniture. Nice. And you were rude. Rude. She was rude to me. She was rude to her grandmother. Worse that she was rude to her grandmother. Ungrateful. Hey, Mom. Yes. What were you looking for? Cabinet glaze. Oh, okay. That's spray paint. I know. Dad told me to bring it in. Okay. Set it down. Find a spot. Set it down. Can I say hi? Sure. Somebody would like to say hi to you all. Hi. What are you doing? That's my last day having brown hair. Oh, yes. Last I'm video. I'm making her blonde tomorrow. <laughs> We're not videotaping it. I'm for, I am. Oh. For TikTok. <laughs> oh, of course. Of course I am. Okay. If, yeah. Mm, okay. Bye bye. You know, if you do that, then every wannabe is going to do their hair like that. And you're going to be like, they all did the same thing I did while they saw you doing it on TikTok.
3,000 other people have already done it. I looked it up on TikTok already. The same exact no, thing. I'm talking about your friends from school. Most of, them are, well, most of my friends already had brown, blonde hair. You know who I mean. She has blonde hair. Does she? She's a blondie. She's not brunette anymore. Oh, my daughter's going to be a blonde. I started coloring my hair when I was 13. I can't say anything. I went platinum blonde was the first thing my mother ever did for me. For my hair. I was cute as a platinum blonde. Anywho. The super duper rude child uh, nearly broke me. And then her grandmother stayed with me for about... 45 minutes sitting, just sitting there, waiting for her grand other granddaughter to show up. And I'm like, why isn't she like waiting in the park? There's a park right out back, but she's going to stay inside Vintage Junkie and just sit there and stare at me until the other grandchild gets there. It's not awkward at all. One of our other regular customers came in at that point, so at least I could have a conversation with somebody that she could join in on because I didn't know how to make a conversation with her because what I wanted to say is, your grandchild always that rude to you? And then that only was the child rude to her, but she left two chairs behind, so she was going to have to come back for the chairs, but she didn't come back for her grandmother, so I'm like, okay, when are these freaking chairs going to go, right? So then... Her grandmother says, you know what? She really wanted this barbed wire flower. So barbed wire made into like a flower. It was kind of cute. And she goes, I think I'm going to get that for her. Uh, she ain't going to be thankful for that either, right? So she buys that and then leaves it on the chair, the two chairs that are left behind. And I said to the girl, um, your grandma bought you this flower. Too. She said, oh, okay. Not, oh, you're kidding. That's so nice. You know, right? Like, oh, I can't believe she does. She didn't have to do that. You know, something like that. Right? No. Mm -mm. No. No, just a, okay. I don't like ungrateful children. Anyway. That's going to be my day for today. I know it wasn't scintillating, but you guys have said you don't care if it's like wonderfully scintillating every single day. It is what it is. This was my day. I will try and get this project done tomorrow and uh, we'll go from there. I can't believe I lost that cabinet glaze. I really like that cabinet glaze. I have to Amazon that. Um... My brain's not functioning. It is definitely time for me to wrap it up and go to bed. So thanks for watching, you guys. Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more Junkin' videos.